Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Awesome Build, where this week we're going to be focusing on building a set piece. Now, I've never built anything on Awesome Build this large before, and I'm pretty excited about it. It's going to be pretty cool. I think you guys are going to enjoy it, but it's going to be a lot of stuff, so I'm going to be probably breaking it up into two episodes. So today we're going to focus on building the structure, and then next week we'll focus more on dressing it up. And this particular set piece is going to be a sci-fi corridor. If you want to make a short film or a feature film or whatever, you just want to make a cool prop. If you want to do like an aliens themed haunted house or something like that, this might be kind of cool. But it's going to be kind of like your basic octagonal space corridor. Uh, it's going to be pretty generic, but I'm going to show you how to make it so that it's customizable so that you can reuse it for different purposes and different projects or even the same project. But when you dress it up, it'll look like different corridors so you can just build the structure once and then keep dressing the inside over and over to make it look like different things. Let's go to the drawing board. Let's map out kind of how I've got it in my head, how I think I can build it, get our basic measurements and start cutting our lumber and building. Okay, so I wanna have your kind of basic octagonal design for this corridor. So in order to do so, I'm going to build the framework and basically the bones of the skeleton of it. And then we can fill in the inside with whatever we want. And it's going to be cheap objects that we can find around the house or that we can get really cheap at the dollar store, the hardware store. And uh, most of it's going to be comprised of junk on the inside. But the bones of it are going to be constructed out of wood so that it has, it's somewhat sturdy, but still lightweight, easy to move around, easy to break down and easy to transport. So basically what I want to do is create a structure that is going to be able to hold up the walls, but it doesn't have to support a ton of weight. I think a good height is going to be about six and a half feet. So I'm going to use two by threes and I'm going to take the two by threes and I'm going to cut them to a six and a half foot length. Then I'll take a two by three and I'm going to cut it into two foot pieces. One down here, and one up here. Now I'm gonna have a four foot by eight foot sheet of plywood. That's basically gonna be the walls of the structure. So I wanna have enough room on my six foot piece so that I have enough for my four foot in the middle. That's gonna be like the, the center piece. So then I need to cut a couple more pieces as my support structure. Okay, so these support structures are going to be 21 inches from the farthest end to the farthest end. So 21 inches. And then from the inside will be 16 from end to end. And what that means is when I miter it, it's going to look like this, basically. I'm going to cut 45s on either side. And so from this length to this length, it'll be 21 inches. From this length to this length will be 16. I feel like this is a good framework for a freestanding wall. That's why I'm going with the two foot and the 21 by the 16. Yeah. And the 21 overall length for my mitered edges. Yeah. I want it to be almost like a rib cage. We're going to build six of these. So we'll have three on either side. That'll give it enough support where I can have one on either side and one in the middle. So we'll have our four by eight foot sheet of plywood and then We'll have a support piece here, one in the center, and one on the end. All right. Then we're going to tie the top and the bottom together with a one by two, eight foot length. And when we get to it, I'll show you what I mean by that. All right, well, our measurements are pretty simple. I'm just going to start making my cuts and start assembling. All right, so once I cut my six, six and a half foot pieces out of the two by threes, I cut 12 two foot lengths and 12 of my mitered, and that was 21 overall length. Now to put the pieces together, originally I was gonna use some of these metal brackets, but they're kind of expensive. And after the first few, I kind of realized I didn't need to use them, so I just pulled out some metal strap because it's much cheaper. I have rolls of it. So I just cut a couple pieces of that off. 
and use that to tie it together basically. Once you screw in one side, in order to get it nice and snug, I shoot the other one in at a bit of an angle, so it kind of pulls that bottom piece in nice and tight. And I flip it over, do the same thing the other side. And now I'm ready to put in my mitered piece, basically my support strut. I pre-drilled some holes so I didn't split my wood. And just shot some screws into that. Nice and snug. Alright, so there's one. And as I said, I just have to make six just like that. Once I have all six of them, I propped them up like that, and this is where I'm going to use that 8 foot 1x3 I was talking about. So I'm going to use two of those, one at the top and one at the bottom, to hold it all together. make sure that they're evenly spaced. You have one on either end and then one at the four foot mark right in the center. So. There you can see it's freestanding. So then I flipped it over, got my four by eight sheet of plywood, drop that on there. And you can use whatever thickness you want. This is an eighth inch sheet. Uh, it's very thin, very lightweight. And I just screw it right to my two by twos. Now I took another 4x8 sheet and I measured out 21 inches and cut them down and you get 4 out of a sheet and those are basically going to serve as the top and bottom of our corridor wall. Just cleaning up the edges with a little bit of sandpaper. The bottom ones I just tacked into place. And the top ones I screwed in. Then I just laid another 4x8 sheet on the top as my temporary ceiling just to kind of give you guys an idea of the effect. All right guys that's all the time we have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and make sure you tune in next week where I'm gonna show more about how to dress up the inside and stuff like that and make it look cool and sci-fi. Again, really, really cheap. It's going to be using stuff that you can find around the house, things that you may throw away, <laughs> like using old styrofoam or old plastic containers or stuff you might find at the dollar store. I'm going to go over a variety of different things that you can use to kind of dress up the interior of your space corridor and some different ways to light it and shoot it so that you can get a very cool and dynamic look out of your whatever it is you're filming. So. Um, yeah, make sure you tune in for that. 
I hope this inspires you guys to go out and build some stuff. And once again, thanks so much for tuning in, for supporting the show. Uh, you guys rock. See you next week.